So you're probably sitting out there thinking, what the hell do these three things have in common? And I intend on telling you, starting with Mr. Gil Martin. Hit it, Nick. Dan Gil Martin is executive director and chief executive officer of the Mission Municipal League. And I saw a presentation with him recently where he talked about a demographic trend that bodes well for Michigan. Kids are getting married later, they're having kids later in life, on average 10 years. And over the course of those 10 years, there's about 100 nights where they go out and have a good time. That equates to about 1,000 nights. And over those 1,000 nights, the, Michigan, the Entertainment Express on Michigan Avenue can serve those people. Now, every good joke needs a punchline, and every travel show needs a host. So our host is our guy, Jeff Smith. <laughs> Jeff is uh, born and bred in the area, went to Michigan State, works for the city of East Lansing. So who better to have this evening? Also, if you haven't done so already, thank the volunteers. They have put this on for us, and they've done a hell of a job. So Michigan Avenue starts in downtown East Lansing. And even if you're not a Sparty, there's plenty of things for you to do. Dublin Square has great food. Excellent patio. We went there right before we got here. Beggar's Banquet has awesome seared tuna. And Omi has excellent sushi. I highly recommend going there. But if you're still a Sparty and you want to hang out, P.T. O'Malley's favorite bar of one of our interns. She goes there a lot. Buffalo Wild Wings tweeting up afterwards. And the Riv has Burgerama. I've been there. It's something you have to do in East Lansing. you got to go to the Riv. So, also, there's a ton of singular events that East Lansing has. The art festival, the jazz festival, the folk festival. Downtown Lansing, East Lansing really is where it's at because we have a lot of things and we have a cool little downtown that we're trying to continually revitalize to keep it going. So your first stop on the, Michigan, on the Entertainment Express along Michigan Avenue is Harrison Avenue. You run into the Harrison Roadhouse there and Roadhouse Pub, great little local bar. You also run into the Kellogg Center in the state room. The annual chocolate party at Kellogg Center, if you have not been there, it's a fundraiser. Chocolates. I don't need to say any more. We're going to skip Frandor because, frankly, all that's at Frandor that's worth talking about is Max Bar. Great place to go see a live band, but there's not a whole lot else to do there. So we're going to move on from Frandor. We'll come back to that. We're going to go to Clemens Avenue. Green Door. Tonight the Squids are playing. Uh, if you haven't heard of them, they're very good. You're probably not going to get in tonight because you're here and they're getting ready to go on. But it's a good place to go see some blues and jazz. And, and Jeff really likes it, apparently. <laughs> but if you want to stay home, you can head over to Capital Mac, pick up yourself a Mac, iPod Touch, pimping the sponsors a little bit. They have helped us put this on as well. Capital Mac is pretty cool, actually. Uh, I'm not a Mac. Jeff is. He had it in my office all the time, showed it off. Now, once you get to Large Street, you're really getting into the heart of the entertainment district. If you head to the east from Large Street, you run into a couple of bars, the self-proclaimed coolest bar in Lansing and Moriarty's Pub. Also, you can eat in a train car. The kids will love it. If you go to the west from Large Street, you hit Rum Runners, Piano Bar. I love piano bars. You know, you have a couple beers, start singing Sweet Caroline or something along that lines. Go to Lug Nuts, Minor League Baseball, I could do an entire presentation on why that's better than Major League Baseball, but we'll skip that for now. Nut House is right across the street, great little sports bar as well, and the Stadium District is just starting to get going. There's a lot of revitalization in downtown Lansing that's occurring, so the Stadium District is really kicking that off, and, get, and there's a chocolate place there too, by the way. Um, so once you move on from there, if you head south on Museum Drive, there's actually three museums there. There is Impression 5, which we've talked about a couple times tonight, great place. <laughs> The R.E. Olds Transportation Museum, and if you can believe this, we have a surveying museum in Lansing, the Michigan Surveying Museum. Now, if you head back up to Michigan Avenue on Cedar, between Cedar and Grand, there's two bars there. There's an English pub, the nightcap you can check out, and the exchange. Harem Urban Lounge is around there, too. That's a little high class for my taste. I couldn't even find it. But there's also something in between the two that you may be aware of. Omar's! <laughs> Now, I've been told that Omar's is the last of a dying breed, that at one time there was a large number of adult establishments on Michigan Avenue. But the point of it being here is there's something for everybody along Michigan Avenue. And, you know, I've never been there. Maybe Jeff has been there, but someone has. Washington Square is really the heart of downtown Lansing. Tropar's is an excellent restaurant. I wish it was still in East Lansing. It's outstanding. Check it out. The Firm, Tavern on the Square. There's a couple other places there as well. Excel comes to mind. It's a great little place to go. Very walkable. If you wander around the corridor, though, there's a number of arts and culture places. Lansing Civic Players are it's actually back by the Green Door. Riverwalk Theater is by the Michigan Survey Museum. And Boar's Head is just to the south of the Michigan Flyer Line. And then, and let's go back to Frandor for a second. <laughs> Head to the south, take a walk. We're, we're, we're that generation, we'll walk. Go to Dagwoods, have a beer, and then go to Bacon Cakes. Yeah. Chocolate peanut butter, Oreo, and the one with the cherry on top. OK? 
Okay, take it home to your wife, make up for the night you had out. So what have we learned? No, that wasn't a thousand nights because I only have five minutes and that's a very short amount of time, but there's a lot to do along Michigan Avenue. There's something for frankly everyone to do. Cupcakes are excellent for maintaining personal relationships. And frankly, if you put a picture on Facebook, I might take it down and cut your head out and use it in a presentation. Thank you very much.